The frenzy over a giant jackpot. Everybody's talking about it tonight. $600 million and counting. The biggest Powerball prize of all time and poised to go even higher if there's no winner on Saturday. And all day we watched coworkers, friends and family line up to get their tickets. ABC's David Wright is on a line right now out in Los Angeles. David. Good evening, Diana. A very long line here in Los Angeles at the Bluebird Market, where the claim to fame is that they've sold $6 million tickets in the past. So check it out. It comes out the door and down the block all the way and snakes around into the parking lot. Now, it's going to be even longer tomorrow, but what you have to understand is that the Powerball is new here in California, and part of the reason the jackpot is so big is because of all these new customers. This is it, a record-breaking jackpot night. It's Not that long lines are only to be found in the Golden State. Across the country, you had to be willing to wait. In New York State, they're selling 600,000 tickets an hour. I always think I'm gonna win, I never do. The odds of winning the grand prize, about one in 175 million, according to the Powerball website. Well, they say a dollar in the dream. But hey, two dollars seems like a small price to pay for a ticket to dream. I would travel the world and visit all the places that, you know, I, I dreamt of going to. On Facebook, ABC News posted, what would you do with the money? The answers are pouring in. The fantasies seem to break down into three groups. There are the dreamers. Levetra Willis would buy all of her female friends five pairs of shoes they want but can't afford. Most lottery winners are dreamers. Joe Danette won $75 million. He bought a NASCAR team. How much do you have now? roughly between 25 and 30 million. There are also do-gooders. Connie Little says she'd feed the homeless from state to state. It has happened. An elderly couple from Nova Scotia, Canada, recently gave away all of their $11 million jackpot. They didn't want the headache. I would buy a new house, a brand new car. Which brings us to our third big category, not dreamers or do-gooders, but debtors tired of being broke. Amanda Letterman says she'd buy a house, pay off bills, and chill. Have you thought of what you're going to do with all that money? Nope. Too much money to think about. But you're putting in your $2. Yeah, huh? yeah. Can't, can't win it if you don't play in it. If nobody wins this thing tomorrow night, then the jackpot jumps to $925 million, almost a billion dollars, Diane. Shall I pick us up some tickets? <laughs> Please do, and don't forget your old pals if you win. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>